So something that's been on my mind lately, and something that I really want to talk about, is trying to help people understand that you know winning and trophies and medals and all that type of stuff is not necessarily the big thing that you should be going after because in, in the grand scheme of things it's really not what's going to be important at least for the majority of people all right like and don't get me wrong i'm all about trying to win like i want to win at everything i do i'm not going to sit here and say winning's not important and i don't care about it but it's not everything now I, it used to be for me i used to be hyper competitive when i was younger when i was in my early to mid 20s, like I had to win at everything, whether it be baseball or basketball or racquetball or darts or trying to drill paper at my old printing job faster than somebody else. Like I just had to win at everything. And I, I've gotten kind of away from that. And one of the things that I've learned and something that I've kind of experienced as I've gotten older now and something that I realized is when I look back on things, it's not the medals and the trophies and, and the winning that has been important to me and that that, I, that has really kind of lasted and given me good memories, right? It's, it's my own personal performance and things that I have done for myself that really matter the most. And like, if I, if I was to give you an example, if I think back to my powerlifting career, not a long career, not, not anything big, all right? I didn't do anything extraordinary. But if I think back to my like five, six or seven meets or whatever it was that I did, all my favorite meets, all the ones that have given me lasting memories that I'm super proud of and that were fantastic, fantastic experiences, I didn't even meddle in any of them. Like I didn't, I didn't do good. Like in terms of like compared, comparing to other people that were there, I didn't, I didn't do well at all. All right, like my, my most proud performance was nationals, you know, when I kind of overcame a lot of different things and I was, I was pretty injured kind of coming into it and I had a lot of things stacked up against me, but I, I pushed my feelings to the side and, and didn't quit when I wanted to. And I, I showed up, I executed perfectly. I hit PRs and like, it was just the best feeling ever. Like I was so proud. I, I still am proud of that meet. And the experience was absolutely fantastic. I, I would never trade that experience for anything. But when you look back at my placing, it was, I can't remember what the exact was, exact placing was, but it was something like 57th out of 62 people. Like I was dead last. I was in like the bottom 10% or something like that, you know, like, and if you get so caught up in how am I placing against other people, it's going to really be a detriment to your own personal happiness. And, and even my other meets, like the, the two meets that I did the best at in terms of placing, I had one silver and I had one uh, bronze, I think. Both times I had terrible meets. My silver medal was the worst meet of my entire life and I, I was like devastated after that meet. I did so poorly. I did not execute at all. I missed three lifts and even the lifts that I did miss, those lifts were like way below what I was planning on doing coming into the meet. Like it was, it was just a, a horrible experience and I was not proud of that sil silver medal at all. Which is funny because if I had performed flawlessly and if I had like just had the best meet of my life and I had gotten that silver medal, I would have been super proud of that silver medal, but because I did poorly for myself and I was pretty much almost like ashamed of what happened that day, I was not proud of it. Like I almost didn't want the medal because it just didn't mean anything to me. So why chase after these trophies and medals when it really boils down to how you did for you, your own performance and you know, creating good memories and experiences for yourself. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that, you know, trying to win is not something that you should do. Like, absolutely, go up there, do your best, you know, try to beat other people, but at the end of the day, for the most part, it's not going to be those medals and things like that that you're gonna remember that are gonna be super important to you. It's gonna be your own personal journey and what you did, what you accomplished, the memories that you create from it and your own experiences. That's what's gonna make a big difference in your life and it's what what's going to like change you to the core. It's not gonna be that trophy sitting on your trophy case. Now, if you went through a, a big experience where you overcame a lot and you're super proud of what you did and you still won despite that, then yeah, you're gonna really appreciate that trophy, but it's still not gonna be that actual trophy that's gonna be everything to you. It's what you did and what you accomplished and the memories you created. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Like, yes, try to do your best. There's nothing wrong with trying to win. And, you know, I, I think it's, it's healthy and good to try to be competitive and, and to try to beat other people, but it can't be everything and understand that you shouldn't sacrifice your own personal happiness to try to chase some sort of metal or or hardware that you can display. Like at the end of the day, nobody's gonna care about that, yourself included. So it's like, just make sure that you are making yourself happy, making yourself proud, 
do the things that you need to do to be your own personal best and don't sacrifice that trying to chase after something that at the end of the day doesn't really mean a lot. So I don't know, just a little bit different perspective, I guess. I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Obviously, everyone's a little bit unique and different and people are driven by different things, but this is my own personal experience and what I've learned in my 38 years of existence. And uh, I just thought maybe that could help somebody else out there. So um, let me know your thoughts, what you think about it in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later. Addicted to the love that you're giving Every minute, every day I've been craving